Hello, this can only mean one thing. Yes, I'm back out sorting with a difference today because I'm currently in Ivy Bridge. It's a nice sunny day-ish, bit windy. There are only three charity shops here and my luck here isn't particularly good on the whole. Um, probably, I don't know, one in four success rate, finding something cool. Because there are only three charity shops here, I'm just going to give you some nice raw footage. I'm just going to leave it running. We'll see what we can find. If we find absolutely nothing at all, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. These things happen. I'm just going to give you a real, just realistic insight into a typical charity shop sorting trip on my lunch break. Disclaimer. Just to show you realistically what is out there and what you can expect to find in charity shops. The pricing here is a little on the higher side on the whole, but you can just no no do you? you just don't know what you're going to find so without further ado let's get going to them let's see what they have in store for us yeah, okay first of all it's a pair of carry malls like a sort of trainer sandal actually pretty cool they are my size well, i bought them but they're not a size 10 six pounds not a bad price if you buy for yourself but not for me not much resale value in that maybe 15 so nah I'll even. Okay, shirts. Don't have much of shirts, particularly cotton ones. Just a bit, just a bit meh, you know. Nothing really standing out here. Moss Brothers, M and S, Lion Scott, the brand that doesn't do very well at all. Crew, another one. Yeah, it's just sort of. Standard array of what's that one? Psych psychology. Why can't I say that? Psychology. Um, polo shirt. It's four pounds. I don't know. It's a size large. I don't think that's going to do that well. Um, I'll look it up, but I don't think. Yeah, it's not. It, Nothing special, it's just what, 100% cotton. Nice wash tag though. Nice care, nice quality wash tag. Hmm. I'll look it up, but I don't think it's anything special. This is cool. This is by Club Domingo. Kind of like an Egyptian pattern shirt, like you know, Egyptian like hieroglyphics and stuff. Not bad. It's a fiver though, and it's not the right season, is it? Um no idea what it's made of. It's probably cotton and polyester. You know, nice cool design, but nah, wrong season. We'll leave that. Little uh, A6 top here. Do love my A6. And they all, we can't see them, but there we go. Um, but yeah, look, it's 550. I think it's a ladies one. It's whoops, pretty small, so no resale value. Wouldn't wear it myself. Put it back. Right. Toy sections, I always say toy sections are rubbish. They kind of are. But, um, I don't know. There's a pop figure. I don't, I don't find. So I'll start again. I just don't really do pop figures that much. I'll look him up. It's, uh, it's £4. Whoops. Let's have a look to see. If we can scan the old. Barcode, let's see what comes up. Is it gonna work? Um, 12 quid brand new. There you go. So, not brilliant. Let's have a look, see on souls. Four sold, five. Yeah, I'll leave that one. Not really worth it. So, good present for someone. Apart from that, whoops, just you there. <clears throat> Not really much else. That would be quite good for uh, my son in the bath, actually. But he's already got one similar, so <laughs> we'll leave that. Uh, Playmobil. Playmobil little car thing. I just, nah, Playmobil for me is a bit of a, a bit of a wet lettuce. Just doesn't do very well at all. And that's just, oh man, the cheapness. Cheapness is real. Um... Nothing in the sort of puzzles, I don't think. Washy monsters. Treehouse. It's not all going to be there though, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest. 
Uh, top trunks, new. Right. Let's check the shoes. Jeff Banks, new. Front, new. Uh, pair of hotters. <laughs> don't, usually, don't usually pick up hotters. There's going to be a lot, aren't they? Uh, eight quid. I've seen worse, but um, no, nah, not looking at it. Uh, I mean, it's like seven as well, so new. Right, t shirts. Let's have a look, see. Never been. Oh, weird. Let's try and turn these in the right place. Super dry, new. Hawes and Curtis. Trespass lease, but nah, no value. Let's have a look. Just a, yeah, gaming one. Just a band one, unfortunately. Uh, oh, standard. Standard England hype up. It's just a fan shirt, and it's uh, ten pounds. No thanks. <laughs> and a bit of sprayway. Well, in I don't know what order this video is going to come out in, but I don't find sprayway does very well. Large sunrise tea. Ah, a bit plain. Now, it was at this point I was being surrounded by people, at least in my Im immediate vicinity. So, voice over time, yeah, I don't like Champion. <laughs> I'm going to say it right here, Champion sucks. Had its heyday, now it's just fodder. So we'll put that back. Yeah, there wasn't a huge amount here, but then again, this is just a typical charity shop rail. This, this was more interesting, this was a, uh, the Dartmoor, the infamous... Dartmoor Prison in Princetown. This is like a uh, tourist t-shirt from the uh, museum there. It was on an older Fruit of the Loom tag, but it wasn't a single stitch. I think it was like £4.50 as well. If that was like a couple of quid, I probably would have had it for myself, but um, no, I've got enough t-shirts to be honest, and yeah, four fifty, no resale value there, so leaving that right where it is. I'll try, try and think of some words to uh, fill the gaps here. It says, <laughs> just pure charity shop footage isn't the most exciting thing, is it? Standard Levi's test here. Five ones, width 30, length 30, £12.50. Nope. No siree. Boss orange jeans here. Tenner, again, small size. Let's see if there's anything worth buying. Mm. It's the, the standard stuff. Oops, come on. What's that in it? Okay, another brand doesn't do well for me. Bowden. Is that intentional? Not sure. But no, I wouldn't buy those. And a pair of Tommy Hilfiger's. They are at five. That's not, that's not awful, but pretty small size. They're not Tommy jeans either, so I don't think, I don't think they're worth getting, to be honest. Um, potentially, but nah. I'm not desperate. But if I was, I'd get them. Um, these guys are. These guys are 15 quid. Why is that? What on earth? What, <laughs> what are they? What do they know that I do? No, no tags. Nothing on the buttons or what? I don't get it. Guys, guys. 
Hmm. Might have found something, guys. These are a pair of older, maybe not vintage, rip curl um, combat trousers. They're a fiver. They are 100% cotton. Just looking like any rips. <laughs> Get it? Rips. I think, though, I might be a winner. Yes, found something. Right, go in there. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, look. Oh, that's a real shame. Oh, I don't... Mm, I don't know. Some people do sell trousers with, like, worn hems, but... I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can. I'll look up the comps. But I think I might pass. Right, back to the voiceover. There's about six people just hovering. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's just like a proper retro 90s style like, shell jacket. Um, don't think it's waterproof. But uh, no, it's like, was that eight quid or something? So, nah, not worth that. Uh, oh, this brand should do so much better than it does. Deal. Uh, £7.50. It's probably worth about that, to be honest. Just no demand for it. No demand for it at all, which is a real shame because the quality is really good. If you can hear that in the background, there's a really young baby, probably no more than a month old, just being uh, carted around the charity shops. You know, start them young, as, it, as they say. Yeah, that was like an Umbro tracksuit top. Newer tags, but uh, it was a tenner. And again, the demand for Umbro just really isn't there. Not yet, anyway. So, um, no, nah, I left that one. Bit of sleeve action, lovely. You come here for, a, for reselling and you get a sleeve. What more can I say? I'm full of surprises. <laughs> yeah, again, just it's a standard rail, isn't it? There's not a huge amount of eye-catching stuff. Just a load of like dull colours and boring brands, really. But, you know, ultimately, that kind of is charity shopping. And we're just trying to find those diamonds in the rough. And this is a lot of rough. Okay, take two. Tis the season. <laughs> yeah, this was recorded in mid November, so yeah, Christmas in full flow. Massive, well, relative to the size of the men's section, Christmas section. Yeah, again, just a load of like meh. Um, to be fair, a lot of this stuff was here last time, so yeah, slow turnover in this shop. Not, you know, not awful pricing. As it, as it happens, just um, just stuff that nobody wants. <laughs> this is like a Columbia hat, only a pound. That could have been okay, but uh, yeah, look at that. It's a small slash medium. It's a youth size. It was a youth size, so with that lot size, could have given that a go, but nah, it wasn't worth it, unfortunately. Again, always check the hats, always check the gloves, and the sunglasses. All those all those accessories. I know most stuff you see is like Finsulate and just not really worth investing in. This is a basic sort of Adidas beanie. Again, it was only a pound, but it, 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 yeah, I, I, I didn't fancy it. <laughs> Put it that way, I, I didn't fancy it. But yeah, you're, but you know when you, you're charity shopping and you get to a point, you're feeling a little bit despondent. You're feeling like, you know, you, you want to buy something to make the trip worthwhile, but just, just don't do that because you'll be wasting your money. You know, I could have bought that hat, but Ultimately, it might not have sold for very much. Maybe not have been worth my worth my time. So you just gotta you just gotta be, be persistent and be a little bit uh, a bit ruthless. You know, don't fall for the desperate buy because yeah, nine times out of ten, it's just not worth it. And unfortunately, this shop um, yeah didn't prove fruitful. <laughs> Again, just a load of just meh. You know, you know what I mean. You know, a lot of charity shops are like that. Like this, it's just a sea of meh. Just nothing, nothing stand out. Crouching down for these trousers. Again, not not a huge amount. Just next and just beige. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, this is a, an honest video. It's an honest take of just a typical 
charity shop experience. You're not going to find the the real hidden gems every time you go out. You know, you are going to find this stuff most of the time. And say, so yeah, I don't check the books that much. I didn't check the CDs, well, a little bit, but again, I don't really have the time to go through all of that. Could have been some good stuff in there, but I, oh, nah, I'll leave that for someone else. Now, I thought I was onto a winner here. There's a couple of Wallace and Gromit plushies, but they're pretty old. They date from the early 1990s. Still with the tags, still got his little accessory, and they wanted three quid. Was it 350? Couldn't quite make that out. They got had Wallace, and they had a couple of, uh, is it Gwendoline? But the more I looked, the more <laughs> defects I saw. So her bag was, um, it wasn't leather, it was like a, I guess like a sort of polyester. It had a coating, but it was coming off. I said, the more I looked at them, the more issues I found. And to be fair, I did a quick comp in the shop. They're just not worth very much. There's like no demand for them. So even though they seem like a good find initially, ultimately, probably not. Yeah, bummer. Right then, last chance saloon. The ladies' jackets and coats. Typically the sort of the rail I will always check in a charity shop, you know. I won't go through all the ladies' stuff, but coats and jackets I'll make a, make a conscious effort to check. This had promise. This was a Jules, uh, women's of course, waterproof jacket. Only a size UK 10, so not the best size. But we're in winter ish uh, the weather's not great this is the sort of thing that would hopefully sell fairly quickly you know durable dependable not the best brand jewels but you know a fairly well <laughs> i say consistent seller i haven't sold much jewels but it's got a demand and they want they wanted four quid for it i don't know if i'm actually going to show you the price tag i just want to work out what the uh, the material comp was but yeah, they only wanted four pounds for it, and I was I was mighty tempted. I was mighty tempted by this. I was just checking. Yeah, all the zips were working, all the buttons were present. Um, shall I put you out of your misery? I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it because the topmost button near the collar was missing. So always check. Always check the garments. Check all the buttons are there. Check all the hook and loop stuff is there. Make sure all the zips are there. This was kind of cool as well. Uh, like slogans all over it. Strong, hope, big, dream big. I, I mean, you, just, you know full well the sort of person that will buy that. The sort of person that has to live, love, life things in their home. <laughs> I'm judgy, I'm sorry. O'Neill fleece hoodie. Again, you know, not a bad thing to find. Just no, no real demand for it. Uh, not really. Um, right season, right price. I think it was a fiver. But there you go. But it just, yeah, it, just no demand. I, I don't want to buy things where the sell to rate is terrible. So leave that for someone who actually wants it, perhaps. And that was about it. Yeah, I know. Never mind. Now this one's a bit expensive. So uh, let's see. If we can find anything worth buying. But yeah, a little, little bit pricey in here. Here we go. Sorry, I just need to act. Oh, That's right. Could be fooled for the sale rail. Nope, mm. it was just ladies' jackets, coats and jackets. There's never really anything good in here, is there? You know, we live in the southwest of England. It rains a lot. None of these coats or jackets were really waterproof it's uh it's amazing but then again i guess if it was a good waterproof you wouldn't really want to be donating it would you now this is sad this used to be the toy section and i mentioned in uh in another video i'm sure the toy sections are being squeezed down they just seem to be you know being reduced that time and time again but hey ho anyway on to these these were here last time i was here about two months ago yep 45 quid for a pair of jeffrey west's now don't get me wrong, great brand, but that is pretty much bang on the eBay going rate. And uh, oh, there we go, they are still there. So just go to show charity shop. You can price them at eBay, but they ain't, <laughs> no guarantee they're going to sell. But these were more interesting. Check that out. Yeah, that cross. These are a pair of dot mines. Did you catch a glimpse of that price tag? Eight quid. 
caught them slipping at last. Now look, they're not made in England, they're not vintage. They're also not the uh, the eyelet boots that everyone knows and loves. They're a pair of Chelsea boots, they're called the Floras. They're actually a women's uh, Chelsea boot. UK size 6. And they've got that sort of um, rub off leather, you know, where you, you wear them, just normal wear, and the, I guess the colour of the leather wears away to the sort of base coat, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, it gives them a sort of, I don't know, it, it's like wear, but it's like attractive wear, if that makes sense. But for eight quid, absolute bargain. Um, we're hopefully be looking to get, oh, fingers, <laughs> we'll be hopefully looking to get sort of 50 quid for those, hopefully. So um, yeah, definitely going to get those a go. Now, this has some promise. Funny enough, just like the uh, the other shop, a bit of older, not necessarily vintage, uh, rip curl. But again, not the best seller I've found. Oh, what happened there? I'm boshed out the way. Anyway, it's a vintage, no it's not, <laughs> it's all getting rubbish. It's an older rip curl jumper, cotton polyester blend, I think a 50-50 split. Nice sort of embroidered logo there. It was just a bit small. I think it shrunk somehow. I don't know how you shrink cotton polyester, but there we go. But it's either a slim fit, which is like a really slim fit, um, or it had shrunk. It was seven pound fifty. It's only a size medium. I did hang on to it for a little bit, but ultimately I did put it back because whatever margin was there was probably going to be pretty slim. So yeah, close but no cigar. Don't think I had any flaws to it, fortunately, but nah, not enough in it, unfortunately. Now, another thing that was here last time I came here were these. These are a pair of, was that Sorel boots? Um, really good quality boot, actually. Uh, whoa, quite a small size, yeah, UK size four. But the worst thing is, 25 quid. I mean, that's way too much, and it's obvious because they're still here, what, two months after I last came here? Surely, surely, they would have reduced the price by now, but no, nope, still holding on to that uh, that high figure. Muppets. And that was that. So, really, the last shop saved it. Um, the last shop is more, most expensive out of the three, but typically has the best quality stock. As that show, a pair of Doc Martens Chelsea boots, paid eight quid. We expect about 50 back on those, I hope, hope. So yeah, I think the fact that they weren't like branded Doc Martens, like, you know, big flashy letters, not that they are anyway. The yellow stitching wasn't really there. They are made in Thailand, not vintage ones, but still hold a good bit of a uh, resale value. So that's great. But actually there are two things I didn't show on camera after all that. Typical, I grabbed the bag. Nothing like outstanding, just two things I thought, well, I'm sure we can do something with those. Uh, first of all, Where's he gone? He's in here somewhere. Now those boots. Oh, size six, by the way. Size six, a so lady's size. There he is. Got himself a little PG tips monkey. Now, I've no idea how well these do. I don't think they do particularly well. They're not like the um, flat Eric's that obviously there's a bit more of a sort of demand for those, but I, I, so I don't know what year he's from, but he's a pound. It was only a pound, so I thought, you know what, I'll give him a go. If not, I'll just keep him having as a have them as a car mascot somewhere, so that was that. And I also got a Woolovers Merino Wool Cashmere, so lovely blend of material. Um, jumper, lady size I think, size medium, but it's new with tags, and I've never had a new with tags one before, so I'm gonna give that a go. Did pay up for it, it was £10, but I think if I can get sort of 25 for a um, this material composition, so 80% Yes, 80% merino wool, 20% cashmere, I think. Yes, so lovely material composition. If I can get 25 for a used one, new tags, surely I can push 40. Surely. Smaller size, admittedly, but lovely blue colour. I've spent more on worse, so I think, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I'll get my money back, it's not a problem. So that was that. It's only three things, but that's okay. That's okay. That is as realistic a charity shop trip as you're gonna get. So, yeah, I had no idea what I was gonna find. Glad I found some cool things. Was getting a little bit despondent after the first two, just didn't really provide. A couple of bits I would have bought, but on closer inspection, yeah, they were damaged, wear, just, I've, I've given up buying stuff that has flaws because ultimately, 
the price you're going to get is going to be so much lower than something that's immaculate if you know what i mean so no resisted temptation left them behind and also in that lash off as well i was tempted by that rip curl um jumper as well it's just a bit small and it was a cotton acrylic blend and i've got rip curl stuff listed for sale on ebay currently and it just the demand just isn't really there for a lot of it so if it was cheaper if it's like four pounds would have picked it up but for seven pound fifty i'll leave that i'll leave that for someone else so so that's that so thank you so much for watching um again a bit different sourcing video but hey it's i'm out i'm out and about i had a bit of free time in my lunch break of course um yeah just thought i'd do some filming and uh, and see what's about and yeah i'm happy with what i got so all good all good so yeah again thank you thank you <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel out. Really want to push for a thousand subs by uh, sometime next year. So yeah, any help, much appreciated. So until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.